the Lord has given to us? Are you stopping in prayer? Are you stopping in prayer? The Bible tells me the Lord inhabits the praises of his children. Are you engaging the presence of the Most High God in that struggle of yours, in that battle of yours? That's what I've come to announce to you this morning. You know the Most High God as never before. And the only way to engage him into your situation. Remember, remember verse he says what? In prayer, the Lord establishes a stronghold, a defense. In his presence, he silences the foe and the adventures. What is that foe? What is it represented in your life? This one, the Lord is making you to know that right now, if you will open up your mouth and give me praise and worship me in the beauty of my holiness, he said, I will silence that foe in the mighty name of Jesus. I will silence over the one that feeds his lawfully holding you captive. I will silence them in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. The Bible made me to also understand in the book of John, chapter 35 and 38, verse 41 to 44. It's talking about Jesus. It's talking about Jesus when he was here on earth. The Bible says Lazarus died. And in John 11, 35, the Bible says Jesus what wept. We know that scripture. What is that we be representing? He was groaning. Because if you look at the verse, 36 says, it said Jesus groaned because what his beloved friend is what dead. The people say, ah, Jesus loved this family so much. But when he got to the tomb of Lazarus, my Bible made me to understand in verse 41 that Jesus prayed and said, Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have what? Heard me. And after thanksgiving, Jesus said in verse 44, And he that was dead came forth. After thanksgiving, after thanksgiving, the Bible says that what? Jesus proved himself as the resurrection and the life. If you will praise him this morning, if you intentionally praise him in the month of December, so let me catch the day, that hope that is dead, he will prove himself as the resurrection and the life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will praise in the mighty name of Jesus. In other ways, our weapon of thanksgiving is to be activated in the midst of our difficulty, in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our struggles. Advantage in the 